Hello friends, this video on reproduction in animals part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next type of asexual reproduction is budding. So what is budding? So the bud budding word is derived from the word bud. So let us see what it is. A new individual is formed as an outgrowth of parent. Now on the parent's body, we can see a small extra growth, uh, an extra structure which is being formed on the parent's body. And that small outgrowth is termed as bud. And this bud will gradually grow to form a new individual. So here the daughter separates away and the parent continues to exist. So here nothing happens to the parent. So parent exists. On the parent's body, a small outgrowth will be formed. This outgrowth will gradually grow to form a new individual and then it will separate out from the parent. So this is very commonly seen in Hydra and East. So what is East? East belongs to which group of organisms? Fungi. And it also happens in Hydra. So let us see how it happens. So here we have taken the example of Hydra. This is how Hydra looks like with its tentacles. So these are the tentacles and this is how a bird looks like. So this is one Hydra. And you see a small outgrowth here. So this outgrowth will gradually grow. And you see it has almost become a new Hydra. And then it separates out from this part. And that's how a new organism is formed. But here if you see the parent was existing before and the parent exists even now. So in this case the parent remains as it is. So bird is seen at a specific site. It is not that birds can be seen anywhere. So there are specific sites where bird can be formed. So how these bud is formed? This bud is formed as a result of repeated cell division at this particular site. Because if you want to have an outgrowth, so this outgrowth is also made up of cells. So you need more cells. So how cells are formed from pre-existing cells? By cell division. So a lot of cell division will take place around this site and as a result of which this outgrowth will be formed. And then this outgrowth will gradually grow to form a new organism and then it will separate out from the parent's body. So, so what are birds here? Birds are small outgrowths on the parent body which are small individuals which over a period of time will get mature and then detach to form a new organism. Budding also occurs in some other organisms like sponges. In sponges also budding can be seen. This is very commonly seen in yeast also. So here you can see this is the bud which is formed in yeast and this will grow and then separate out from the parent. Now let us talk about the next type of asexual reproduction that is fragmentation. So fragmentation is derived from the word fragment. Fragment means part or pieces. So in fragmentation, the parent breaks into multiple species on maturity, each of which gives rise to a new individual. Now as soon as an organism becomes mature, so it, it is capable of becoming a parent. So as soon as it attains maturity, It breaks down into multiple pieces and each of those pieces will give rise to a new individual. So each piece is termed as a fragment. So each of these pieces is a fragment and that is why the process is called fragmentation. So in this case, this breaking happens on its own. As soon as the organism becomes mature, it by itself breaks into different fragments. Now, this is seen in simple multicellular organisms. Now, it is a uh, little unexpected to, I mean, it, it will be too much to expect this process to be possible for all multicellular organisms because complex multicellular organisms are not just collection of cells. So, there we have the concept of division of labor where cells group together to form tissues, different tissues group together to form organs. Again, organs form organ system. So thereby cell by cell division is not possible in case of complex multicellular animals. But for simple multicellular animals, for example, the green algae, 
for example, spirogyra. So here we have taken the example of spirogyra, which is a green algae. So these are like, they are multicellular organisms. So they are like collection of cells. So you do not have so much of specialization of tissues and organs in these kind of organisms. Therefore, what happens here is, now as soon as this is this spirogyra matures, it splits into different fragments, as you can see here. So one, two, and three parts. It has been split into three different parts, but each of these parts, again by cell division, will give rise to a new organism. And that's how you started with one spirogyra, but now you have got three spirogyra. But try to understand this logically, that if you consider the same thing for complex multicellular organisms like human beings, if you cut a human being into three parts, not each of those parts will be able to give rise to a new human being. That's because the it, it, they, human beings are not just aggregate of cells. So here some cells specialize to perform a specific function. Some other cells perform some other specific function. So the complexity is more. Therefore, this kind of um, reproduction is possible only for simple multicellular organisms. So complex and advanced modes of reproduction are present for complex animals. So we will see that later. So let us look at another process of asexual reproduction that is called regeneration. Re means again, generation means to generate something, to produce something. So that means producing something again, that is regeneration. So if the parent is cut or broken into multiple pieces, each gives rise to a new individual. So this is again interesting. So in regeneration, what happens is if you cut the organism into multiple parts, then each part will give rise to a new organism. Now here, if you see, even though it is classified as a mode of reproduction, but this is actually an accidental process. So that organism actually have to wait for somebody to come and cut it down into pieces and only then it can form new organisms. So it, this doesn't happen on its own. So we can say that it is not the same as reproduction, as an organism won't, won't wait to be cut to reproduce. So this feature is seen only by some in some specialized cells that have the capability to develop into different body parts. And this process is called development. So this is an accidental process, as I said. So some examples of organisms where it is seen is hydra, flat, warm, tapeworm. But hydra will any day prefer budding over regeneration because budding happens on its own. But for regeneration, somebody, if, if by chance somebody cuts hydra, so it has that ability to develop into the various body parts. And that's how it can regenerate itself. It can recreate itself. So that is the property. Now many a times people get confused with regeneration and fragmentation. Please do remember that fragmentation is a process that happens on its own as soon as the organism matures. But regeneration is an accidental process. It, it will never happen on its own. Only if by chance the organism gets cut into pieces, then those pieces will have some specialized cells because of which it has the capability to regenerate itself so that is regeneration so these were some of the uh, different types of asexual reproduction which we have discussed here even other than these also we have many other methods like spore formation vegetative propagation vegetative propagation is more common for plants but uh, we are not taking them up right now so here you can see an example of regeneration. This is planaria. So in planaria, you see if somebody cuts it into three halves, then each of these halves will give rise to a new organism. So Thank you. Please visit www.examfew.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.